Public service announcements. Love them or hate them, they're everywhere, and exist for multiple purposes. Whether it be to inform people of weather warnings, telling people they can't do something, or the most common, telling people that doing something stupid is a bad thing. The ball may pose a suffocation hazard to children under three. Wait, giving toddlers toys like that can kill them? Well, thank God I could feed them this super healthy Burger King meal instead. Hit up, Jimmy, your foot lettuce is getting cold. But let's be real. A lot of these attempts are either absolutely ridiculous, or they're just bad. And Canada is not the exception to that rule either. I'm sure you've seen your fair share of PSAs in your country, so today, I will present you some of the ones I found in mine. Or at least the ones in English. Fun! Sonic 2 is objectively better than Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Let us pay our respects to Drunky McDrunk Drunk. Oh, this isn't the concert hall. Dude, seriously, you do not touch a lady's belly while pregnant. What is wrong with you? It's your fault my husband's dead. Not because he decided snoozing while driving was a good idea. I hate you, and I piss in your CDs every night. Now, I should feel horrible about this loss, but this is a PSA about fictional characters. And really stupid ones at that, so, uh, yeah, my empathy is instead safe for the actual victims of an accident like this. Not shitty characters in a crappy PSA. Anyways, I guess the moral of this PSA is, if you fall asleep at the wheel and die, people will blame everyone else, and not you. Fuck this PSA. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh great, softcore horror. My favorite. So, certain things like blood and slightly sexual content are things we can't show on CV, but showing patricide is fine? TV standards are bullshit. Excuse me, aren't you putting on the boy's seatbelt? Well, if we did that, we wouldn't have this PSA now, would we? In a crash at 50 kilometers per hour, Simon is thrown forward at a force 35 times his weight. A 658 kilo cannonball. Ah yes, why believe professionals with evidence and stats when instead we can trust the word of a single community station? Also, wait a minute, Simon was on the right side of the car slash middle in the previous shot. How did he magically teleport behind his dead seats in that short amount of time? Then again, the PSA said that Simon killed his dad when the dad was already moving forward before the kid hit him. So I don't think the crew behind this were all that bright and we're just pulling this out of their ass. Funny that. Ooh, I'm gonna get hit for this one. I don't like Spirited Away. Hey, Steve. Oh, hi, fag. Sure you should be calling him that when you're the one holding sticks? I better not. I don't want you to kill me. Yeah, you're right. Good thing he has no other means to kill you right now, like the card in his hand, or his feet. And I got this cold. Oh, it's too bad. Yeah, but at least I'm not gonna die because I'm a careless homo. No, but instead you'll die because you're a careless hetero. STDs. They're not picky on the sexuality. So, how you been? Pretty good. Work's busy, though. Wow. You think they'd have a law against you spreading it there? No, but you are spreading ignorance right now, so, um, kindly stop. <laughs> SELL THE HOUSES TO BEN! FUCK AQUAMAN! Your brain is a marvel of technology. Ah, so we're in the synthesis timeline then. God damn it, Shepard. But when you take drugs, you alter your brain. Which also includes prescription drugs, so uh, yeah, eat shit to those who take it to better the mental state. We could have specified illegal drugs, but eh, we spent most of our time and budget cutting this brain apart instead. And eventually... Your brain just won't be the same. But what if the brain was causing you stuff like ADD or narcolepsy and drugs like Adderall curb that issue? After all, they're prescription drugs and legal in certain countries. Or should we just tell those people to fuck off? See, this is the problem with using a base term like drugs. You also potentially rope in the ones that are legal and help people in their day-to-day -day life provided they don't abuse it. But I digress. This was a dumb fucking PSA.
Got it. So if you drink and drive and end up surviving, your significant other will cheat on you with your best friend. That sounds like more of a problem with the relationship than it does with drinking and driving. So, uh, yeah. This ad made me mad, so let's see if we can find something to make me glad. Like, there are three things that are okay with being long slash stretched out. Extension cords, rope, and dick when having sex. But guess what this isn't? Oh, better than to operate this machine with unbuttoned sleeves! Come on, man, pull me out! He <laughs> sounds like his polo game is pretty weak. First thing is, the emergency switch hasn't been fixed yet! And I can't simply move my arm out of the shirt sleeve! That'd be less dramatic! Guys! The switch has been fixed! Uh, I should have told you guys that, shouldn't I? <laughs> I am so fired for this. And that's all I got for now. Yeah, these were pretty weird PSAs, but I had fun ripping into them. So, um, yeah, if you guys want me to do more, maybe for other countries, uh, let me know in the comments below, and I'll uh, try and do another part in the future. So with all that said, thank you all for watching, and have a great day.